Previously, we learned how to create a basic route handler. Now, let's dive deeper into working with route handlers, starting with how to handle GET requests. Before we begin, I should mention that we won't be focusing on the UI for this section. Instead, we will use Thunder Client, a REST API client for VS Code to test our route handlers. If you haven't already, go ahead and install the Thunder Client extension in VS Code. Once you have it ready, we can proceed. To keep things focused on route handlers, we will skip setting up a database. Instead, we will store our data in memory, which means it will be cleared when we restart the app or refresh the page. That is perfectly fine, since our main goal is to understand how route handlers work. Let's start by creating some data to work with. First, create a new folder called comments inside your source folder. Inside this folder, create a file called data.ts. And here, I'll paste an array of three comments we will use. Think of these as comments on a YouTube video, each with a unique ID and some text. Now that we have our data ready, let's create our route handler. In the same comments folder, create a new file called route.ts. Remember, this is a Next.js convention for creating route handlers. In this file, we will define and export our get handler function. We start by importing our comments array from the data file. So import comments from dot slash data. Then we export a function called get. Export async function get. This get handler simply returns our comments array as a JSON response. Return response.json and we pass in comments. Now let's test this handler. Open Thunder Client extension and click on new request. Set the HTTP method to get and enter the URL localhost 3000 slash comments. Leave all the other settings as they are. When you click send, you should see a status 200 OK response with our array of three comments. ID one, first comment, ID two, second comment, and ID three, third comment. Perfect. The get handler is working exactly as expected. Now we are using Thunder Client for testing, but in a real application, your user interface would make this request either when the page loads or when the user interacts with it. The important thing is that we have successfully created a get route handler in Next.js. Up next, we will explore how to handle post requests. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.